What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. A while back I had a data-driven daily tip about how to take a YouTube URL to a video and put an extension on it that skips that video to a certain amount of seconds in a frame that you exactly want the video to start at via the URL. Today's data-driven daily tip is around how to do the same thing but actually embedding the video in the website. YouTube has added a new feature that I wanna walk you through. And when you go into a YouTube video and you click the share button, you will now see the ability to embed the video and start it at a certain timestamp. So you check under the embed code, you check the start at 000 and you can, once you check it, it'll allow you to change the time of the video that you wanna start it at, which is really freaking cool. So we also had a comment on what, on the same data-driven daily tip that I was telling you about earlier, and I'm gonna link to the comment. Now the comment was that this person, it is a great comment, they thought a better tip would be how to embed a YouTube video into your website, then create a text timestamp on your website. When a user clicks the timestamp on the web page, the video would then skip to that time in the embedded video. Now, a poor man's version of that, if you will, would be to, let's say you have a two minute or a five minute long video or whatever, it could be 10, 20 minutes long, doesn't matter. Pick out, let's say, four or five of the top points in your video that you would want the user to skip to, then just create a hyperlink button underneath the main video that would link to other interior pages of your website that have the video embedded again, but at the timestamp that you want it to start at based on this data-driven daily tip. That should make sense. So in order to create a web page that allows the user to skip to different parts in your video, you would actually be creating multiple web pages with the same video embedded multiple times, but you would have one main page that would say have four or five different key points in that video that the user could skip to, which would really mean they would be going to another page on your website with the video embedded. This would be a, I would call it a poor man's version, like how Ron Harper was referred to as the poor man's Michael Jordan. This would be a poor man's version of that, and it would be a way without having to really do any additional research, just get it done, make things happen. This has been your data-driven daily tip. For more free digital marketing and web design tips, go to dataoveropinions.com to up your digital marketing game and drive more traffic to your website and grow your business. Learn how to do all that from us, the experts, with live access sessions and lessons, tons of lessons on Instagram ads, Facebook ads, content marketing, Google ads, remarketing, Google Analytics, driving web design based on data and driving conversions, go to datadriven.education to sign up for that program. And thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. Thanks for listening to the podcast at datadrivenpodcast.com. And listen to the Alexa Flash Briefing, please, on datadrivendaily.com. And if you just want to do business with us, hit me up in an email at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.